Here are five Laravel tips and tricks you probably didn't know. Full text search with MySQL and PostgreSQL. If you are using MySQL or PostgreSQL as your database, you can define a full text index to any column or combination of columns. Simply add full text to any column definition or call full text and pass an array of column names. This allows you to run where full text and or where full text queries in your model. These methods will be transformed to the appropriate SQL for the underlying database. If you need to run a full text search against multiple columns, just use an array as the first parameter. Throw validation errors without using validate or a form request. If you need to throw validation errors but you're not using the built-in request validate method, or a form request class, just throw a validation exception and call with message, passing an array of field names and error messages. This will return the same 422 status code and response structure as the other validation methods. Change the default timestamps for a model. Sometimes you need to work with database tables that don't align with Laravel's naming convention when it comes to timestamps. In order to change the updated add and created add timestamps, just redefine these two constants. And to change the deleted add timestamp, make sure to use the soft delete trait and then redefine this constant. Collection methods on query results. Once you have queried all results with all or get, you can then perform multiple collection methods on those results without hitting the database, like getting a total price from an order. If you need to perform collection methods on paginated results, make sure to perform your calculations before paginating said results. Otherwise, you will make the calculations on the first page of the paginated result set. Create collections on the fly. You can use the static times method to create a collection on the fly. The first parameter is the number of times the callback is executed. Call artisan commands from anywhere in your code. Artisan commands are not just for the terminal. You can use artisan call to launch any artisan command. You can also pass an array with all the command parameters. If you found this helpful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more. See you in the next one.